A list of drugs for patient in side room two. I guess that's me then. Lots of sedatives, it appears. The stuff they're giving me could knock out a horse. And give it a headache for a week, too. It could also cause hallucinations and paranoia. How bizarre. Why would they want to give me all of that? I'm not crazy, I know that for sure. If anyone's crazy here, it's someone who put me on all this medication for no good reason. Flowers. Take flowers. No way I'm taking them. I don't like flowers, especially chrysanthemums. They're not bad flowers. Smell them. I don't like flowers. I really don't care what they smell like. Sorry, Susan. You listen to me. A bunch of chrysanthemums. I hate flowers. Examine? Side room two. They must be keeping another suicidal nutcase in there. Let's read her chart. A list of drugs for patient in side room one. There must be notes. According to this, her name is Anne Burton, 35 years of age. She takes a lot of sedatives and has a long history of drug abuse. It seems that, on top of it all, she's taking methadone for heroin withdrawal symptom. Syndrome. At the bottom of the page, there's a note saying she's actually a private patient who's staying here out of her own free will. Lucky lady. I guess it won't be so easy for me to leave the ward. Is there anything of interest in her room? I could take more gloves. Take a lot. I've got enough gloves in my pocket. There's no need to take more. Sorry. Can I lie down in her bed? I'm not sleeping in someone else's bed. Fine. Under pillow? There's nothing interesting under the pillow. Damn. Why doesn't Susan listen to me? Hello, nurse. I bet she thinks those red-rimmed glasses make her look attractive. Pfft, wrong. I know her kind all too well. Completely dedicated to her job, yet totally brainless and close-minded. Talk to. Um... Is Liz here? Where's she at? Is Liz here? And who's Liz? That young nurse who was here last night. Black hair, very chatty. She said her name was Liz. Uh, I'm sorry, a lot of people come through here. I can't remember everyone's name. Can you return to your bed now, please? It's nearly time for your medication. I can't be chasing around after every single patient. Beg your pardon? Look, I'm very busy at the moment. I'll come and talk to you in a minute, all right? Doing what? You're looking at your freaking hand or whatever you're doing with your hand. Jeez. What a mean lady. It's a discharge letter for Ann Burton, currently a patient inside room one. It seems she has admitted herself into the hospital and is allowed to leave whenever she wishes. Take it. Please do not touch these. They are all confidential documents. Yeah? Sorry. Well, maybe you shouldn't leave them out on the desk for everyone to see. If you are looking for something to read, we have some magazines for patients here. Thanks, but I think I'll pass. Are they anti-suicide magazines? Do they tell you about the wonders of life? And how it's good not to take it? Uh... Can I go in here yet? It's a toilet door. Is that, is that like a way of saying it's a shitty door? <laughs> you get it? It's a toilet. I think there's a way... Yeah, I can go over here. Where's the exit? Excuse me, where's the exit? It's just down the corridor, ma'am. Thanks. I'll be on my way then. Can I see the discharge letter first? A discharge letter? What for? Some of our patients are under observation and aren't allowed out of the ward. For their own safety, of course. It sounds like we're prisoners here. It's for the patient's safety, ma'am. If you haven't been discharged by the doctors, I'm afraid I can't let you through. May I ask what your name is? My name is... Can I tell him I'm Ann Burton? Just let me go, asshole. Mary Smith. It's totally a unique and original name there. Uh, I'll come back later. I'll come back later. Please do, Mum. We'll be right here. Damn it. 
What is this? Examine. Patient files. They piled up on the desk. Please do not touch these. They are uh, all confidential lady. documents. I was only going to tidy up. I'm sorry. Are you one of the housekeepers? Why did you dress up as a patient? I just can't stand mess, that's all. And there's no need to be sarcastic. Who's being sarcastic? Oh, what a bitch. I don't like you, but I'm going to talk to you anyway. Can I... Um... Can I make a phone call? Can I make a phone call, please? Oh, yes, of course. But the phone's being used at the moment. Can you please come back in five minutes? Thanks. <laughs> Whatever. Who's using the phone? Are you using the phone? Are you texting? Is that what you're doing down there? Lady, please. I feel much better. Can I go home? I feel much better now. How about that? Can you please discharge me? I'm glad to hear that. But I can't discharge you until Dr. X sees you. He should be doing his round very soon. Please return to your bed and wait for him, alright? <laughs> alright, fine. Bitchy lady. This must be patient from side room too. God, she looks confused. A whole lot of confused. Hello, lady. Another suicidal patient. Strange, she looks like someone I know. She looks like me. Hi, are you all right? Can we talk for a minute? I can't talk. Please, just leave me alone. Oh, I mean you no harm. I'm trapped here, just like you. Trapped? I don't know. It's just so hard to think without it. But you're a stranger. And you're not one of those lovely nurses, either. They look after me so well. I trust the nurses like I trusted my mother. I just want to talk. I need your help. Unless... It's mother who sent you. Was it her? Please tell me it was her. Um, yeah, sure. I'm a good friend of your mother. I miss her so much. I can't remember you very well. But you should know this. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. Yeah, sure I do. Now, let me ask you. What is it? Oh, well... What is my mother's name? Mm. Oh, shit. Uh... <laughs> Joan Mary Elizabeth Mandy. Oh, Mandy. You came and... Uh, Alice, Sarah, and Burton. Why not? That's the only full name I know. Anne Burton. No, that's my name. You don't know my mother, you little liar. Leave <laughs> me alone. Please, just leave me alone. Well, that didn't quite work now, did it? Maybe it's Liz? Oh, Elizabeth was on there. But I'm in the bathroom now. Oh, Billy. Examine. It looks like there hasn't, it hasn't been emptied for a while. There's lots of discarded medication pots in there. Among other gross stuff. Search. Why not dig through the garbage? I'll take one of these medication pots. You little liar. Read. Please stop writing messages on the mirror. Well, we are currently experiencing experiencing oh man the word just did not want to come uh, difficulties maintaining high level of cleanliness due to a sudden absence of cleaning staff we ask all patients to be considerate and help us keep the board tidy this is a pretty shitty bathroom look at these walls sink turn on the hot water 
examine? I can't look at myself. The mirror is cracked. A large shard of glass is lying on the side. Take it! I got a shiv. If they find it on me, they'll think I'm a complete psycho. But it might be useful too. I'll risk it. Shitty walls, literally. There's a bell. Toilet. Look at. It's rather filthy. Use it. The lid is down. Oh, I have to... Open the lid. Use it. I've been dying for a wee ever since I woke up. <clears throat> oh, Nintendo. Well. Alright. Vapide. I done did it. What's happening? Oh. It did steam up the mirror. Eel. Did I ever get to her name? When I did it before? Flush. Now go wash your hands. Wait, somebody said block the toilet. Can I do that? Examine. A bunch of rubber gloves. Quite heavy. Use. <gasps> I can do that. I should have thrown it in there with the pee. Oh, wait. I don't need to go again. Damn it. That would have been so much better. Flush. What is this? Press. Good night, tomato. Someone is coming. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? The toilet's blocked. What? Oh, well, that's hardly an emergency. It is when you need to use it urgently, like I do. I see. Fine. I'll sort it out. Just give me a minute. Please put your oh, hands in the, the toilet. Gloves. Again! I guess I'll have to get my hands dirty since the cleaner's called in sick. Yes. Oh, uh, where did she get that plunger from all of a sudden? Lucy knows. Lucy Lawless knows everything. Can I talk to you again? If you really are a friend, ah, damn you will know my mother's name. Go the steal name the that papers. Haunts me. Oh. A beautiful name. But I know it. Let me just think for a second. Mary, Joan, Elizabeth, Mandy. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. No. You're wrong. Leave me alone. Please. Just leave me alone. Damn it. I can take it. Take, take, take. Finally go home. Yeah. Take. I don't really need any of these. I think I'd rather read a magazine. Can I read them, though? No. I guess it doesn't matter. Hey, I have a discharge letter. Uh, unfortunately, it's on Anne Burton's name. I have to somehow trick those guards into thinking I'm Anne. We do look quite similar. Dude, let's go. Sorry, ma'am. Can't let you through. We'll need to see a discharge letter from your doctor first. Here. Are you happy now? Yes, that seems fine. Can I just check your name band to confirm that you are indeed Anne Burton? Oh, right. Name band. Dad. I think I left it in my room. I'll go and get it, shall I? Shots of redheaded women? I love redheaded women. I'll take two, please. All right, I need to somehow take care of this lady, find her mom's name. Wow. It wasn't you who did it, was it? I don't know no. what you're talking about. Someone just stuck a bunch of... Well, I guess it doesn't matter. It's sorted now. I just hope it's the last time I've put my hands in that stinking toilet. 
Can I do it again? I don't have any gloves, though. Let's make her come back. Someone is coming. It's not me. I promise. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? I just wanted to remind you that I'm ready to go. I pressed it by mistake. I wanted to see how long it takes you to answer. I'm feeling a bit woozy. I wanted to see how long it takes you to answer the bell. Look, I'm a nurse. I have a lot of paperwork to do. We're doing our best here. It's not my fault that suicidal fruitcakes like you come here and scratch and piss on the bloody walls. Hey, don't speak to me like that. I'm not suicidal. And I'm not a fruitcake. And I didn't scratch anything, let alone pissing on the walls. <laughs> Shiver her. Bother. I think it's time we give you some medication. Can you please tell me your name and your date of birth? Just use your shiv. She won't cause any more troubles. I'll have your name so I can make a big fat complaint. Maybe I should do that. I'll have your name so I can make a big fat complaint. Yeah. There's no need for that attitude. First, you were being disruptive when I'm just trying to do my paperwork. And now you are threatening me! Oh, you should know we are only following the doctor's orders here. Now, forget that silliness and let me have a quick look at your wristband. No, not my wristband. Miss Ashworth, I strongly suggest you take this, alright? Mmm. I don't want to be too headstrong. I don't want to take some crazy ass medication yes Tenchi uh, Starbound has already been bought just waiting for it to come out take the drugs that's a good girl now drink it down you'll feel much better now go back to your room and rest You'll be able to relax and have a great sleep. Oh, yeah? Mm. Yeah, right? She OD'd on pills. Why would you give her more? I guess it's time to go to bed. But I don't want to... want to explore. Oh, wait. I did do this part. I know exactly what I need to do. I need to shiv the heart. Shiva is the, the name. Use. If I fill it with this drug... Okay, so I don't have to... I think it took me forever to uh, figure this out last time. Sheila is the name of her mom. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, Starbound comes out tomorrow, and then I definitely want to play it. Lie down, go sleepy bye. Sleep a boop a doop. -a. Poking is always the answer. You poke with whatever you can poke with. The drugs have worn off, and I feel better now. But I can't let them do that to me again. I need to get out of here. I don't even have any latex. I suppose you're right. Talk if to you. You really are a friend. You will know my mother's name. I got the your name mama's that name. That haunts me. A beautiful name. But I know it. Let me just think for a second. I work until 8 p.m., Tenchi. 12 to 8. Sheila. Sheila. Yes. It was my mother who sent you, after all. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. But my head's all messed up. 
So, let's have a little chat, sweetheart. Something's wrong with this place. Something's wrong with this place. I think it's really nice here. We must stay here. Do what they say. Take pills they give us. Sometimes, if I behave, they give me the red stuff. I wait for it. I'm being good. What is this red stuff? It's a drug. My favorite one. Red stuff takes the pain away. I must stay here. Good nurses have been most kind. They always remember. They know I'm suffering. But it is not the same as the drugs I see in my dreams. On the other side of the mirror, there's a spider's heart full of drugs. I just can't seem to find it anymore. I see. That pot filter dough. Get one. I uh, feel like sharing. What's your name? Ooh! How yep. about we swap our name bands? Oh yeah, I don't mind. But that would be like a favor <laughs> to you, yeah? Well, technically you wouldn't lose anything because I'd give you my name band instead. Does that make any sense? Sure, yeah. I do want something better in return though. I'm not that stupid. I know you'll use it to get out of here. Oh, I never Blast. said you're stupid. I... I just really want to go home. Please understand. That's fine. I don't mind. I'll give it to you if you get me the red stuff. What do you say? I thought nurses give it to you anyway. No, not that. I'm talking about the real thing. Something you can only get in the world of dreams. Now that is something special. Is it safe? It's perfectly safe. Um, okay. I'll see what I can do. You can't take things from dreams, silly. You can't. You can't. But I already have the, uh, the red stuff, and I would like to give it to you, if you know what I mean. Hi, Red Queen. Are you alright? I'm fine. That. Yes, it's all fine. It's just hard to wait, you know? They said I can have it. You know, yeah? So I wait here. Don't want to miss it. That nurse promised it to me. The one with the red glasses. But I think it's been three hours already. Why are they late? Do you think something happened? Do you think she changed her mind? Because I swear if she did, I will hurt myself again. I swear to God, I will hurt myself again! Just settle down. I'm sure they'll be here in a minute. They're probably just very busy. That... Uh... What's your name? Feel like sharing. What's Even though your I already name? know. There is nothing to share. Everyone died. Everyone. Okay. And my treat, my red stuff. It's not the same. I keep lying to myself. I'm a mean little liar. Always have been. This vein, you see, it goes straight to my heart. That's why it hurts so much. I wish I could, just one more time. But it's all lost now. Everything. I was always happy to settle for a consolation prize, you know? Hmm. About these name bands. About these name bands. How about that? Will that oh, end yeah. the conversation? I don't mind. We can swap our name bands as soon as you bring me the red stuff. Okay. But remember, it's I got hidden. It. You have to follow the heartbeat of the spider. It's right there in the world of dreams, the world of nightmares. Hmm. This one then? What exactly is this little treat? you mentioned it's the red teardrop of pure happiness they bring it I drink it down and my pain goes away without it I just feel so angry it's like I'm going crazy <laughs> it's funny but 
I just get so fucking angry sometimes. I'm dying, I think. We're all dying, I heard. She said I'd go to hell for it, but I didn't do anything. I didn't know. Does he know? Who? Him! <laughs> right. Okay. No, probably not. I need the red medicine. I need it now. I must be a good girl. I must be a nice girl. Maybe I could get you some of that stuff. Do you know where they keep it? Oh, they have it hidden well. You can't get there. We've already well, established maybe you this. Can. I see it in my dreams sometimes. It's where the nurses are. But in my dream, there are no nurses there. I see it, but I can't get it. It's so near, and yet so far. I can still hear the broken heartbeat of the spider's heart. I'll talk to you later, I'll okay? Talk to you later. That's a good one. Yeah? I like that one. Yes. Go. Be careful. Because I have the They're red stuff us. already. And remember, we must be nice to earn the red stuff. You don't gotta Always be nice. Be nice. All you gotta do is poke. Poor woman. You just, you just gotta poke them. And you get the red stuff. If you know what I mean. Can I drink it? I don't want to drink it. I want to give it to her. I've found the thing you asked me for. But are you absolutely certain it won't harm you? Don't be silly. Of course it won't. Fine. I hope you know what you're doing. Can I have your name band now, please? Yes. No matter what they say, I do keep my promises. What do they... You know what? It doesn't matter. Thank you for your help. Yeah. Alright then. We could leave. Let's get the balls out of here. You, stupid red glasses nurse. Suck it. Sorry, ma'am. Can't let you through. We'll need to see a discharge letter from your doctor first. Here. Are you happy now? Yes, that seems fine. Can I just check your name band to confirm that you are indeed Anne Burton? Oh, all right. I didn't realize you knew how to read. Shh, ouch. There you go. Can I go now? Of course. Thank you, ma'am. Done we'll see you soon. and done. No, you won't. Now get out of my way. Yeah. The door. Examine. It's a storage room. Can I enter it? This door is locked. Examine. It's a door to some office. It's jammed. Oh. And you must be Susan Ashworth. Um, well, perhaps I am. Do you mind if I ask you where you're heading to? I was just going for a little walk. Hello, Stag and Alicia. Legs, get some fresh air. We're in trouble now. Give it a rest. I'm not going anywhere. Miss Ashworth, please relax. There's been a mistake. You have been prescribed wrong medication. I apologize sincerely on behalf of my team and the hospital, but luckily we managed to spot it on time. On time? You have no idea what I've been through? Once again, I'm truly sorry. I promise no more drugs will be given to you. I personally guarantee you will have a good, peaceful sleep tonight, and you can be discharged in the morning. Why can't I go tonight? I want to go now! I'm really sorry, but we can't legally discharge suicidal patients without a full psychiatric assessment. It's too late for it now, but I promise we'll have a chat in my office first thing in the morning, okay? And then you can go home. Is that all right? I haven't really got much choice, have I? Probably not. Now I'd like to ask you some questions about your life, Susan. You might find them very personal. 
but it's important that you answer me as honestly as possible. Fine. Let's get it over with then, shall we? I'd like to go home at last. Of course, I understand. So, Susan, let's see. Are you living alone at the moment? I'm living in a mental hospital, is where I'm living at the moment. Uh, rent a flat is quite lonely all the time. Live on my own, it suits me just fine. I live with a friend. She must be worried sick. I don't want to lie. I rent a flat. It's quite lonely most of the time. I used to like being on my own, but I'm not sure if I still do. Too much time with my thoughts, and no one to talk to. Maybe I should get a parrot. We'd have a little chat each time I feel like opening up. Or maybe you could consider finding friends through our suicide watch service. Nah. They're very good. Helped a lot of people. Okay. Maybe I will. What do you do for a living? I'm a butcher. Uh, in between jobs or a waitress, I don't really have a choice. I guess a waitress. I think she said she was a waitress, didn't she? I don't know. I'm a waitress. I work in a cafe. You do? Do you like it? It's okay. I don't mind it. It's just a job. It's important to keep busy. I, I advise you get back to work as soon as next week. I will. Describe to me what your mornings look like. What is the first thing you do each day? I... What do I do when I wake up? Um... I lie in bed. I can't bring myself to open my... Well... I kinda do. I just sleep through all my alarms. I lie in bed, awake. Can't oh, bring awake. myself to open my eyes. I see. I go back to sleep. I'm scared of the coming day. I know already what'll happen. And what's that, Susan? Nothing, really. Nothing at all happens in this stupid, empty life. Sometimes I wonder why I even get dressed. What for? For who? I hardly ever get out of the flat anyway. Would you say that you feel safer at home than outside? Uh, yes. I... yeah, I suppose. It's not really about safety. I've just felt sad for a long time now. Really sad, you know? Somehow it brings me down even more when I go out and see all those happy, successful people. It makes me feel more like a failure if I don't see it. It doesn't hurt that much. What do you think is missing in your life? Or rather, what is one thing that you think would make your life better? Hmm. Something to fight for, you know? A reason to go on. There's always a reason to live. Sometimes we just don't see it that clearly. Well, Doctor, I must have gone all blind then, because I can't see cats. any. <laughs> have you ever attended group therapy for depression or some other form of counseling? Nah. Nah, man. No. I'm not sure it's a good idea. Especially the group therapy thing. I'd hate it. You should at least give it a go first, and then decide. If you don't like it, we can think of something else, yeah? If you insist. But I doubt it'll help. Do you have problems sleeping? Hell yeah. Ear a night, dog. Ear a night. Every night. I take pills for that. There aren't any left now, though. In the light of recent events, I think you should stay off those pills for a while. I suggest you drink some hot milk before bed instead. Would you describe for me how you feel Ew. at the moment? Milk. My new bed is still doing well, yes. It works wonderfully, and I love it. I love it so much that I sleep for hours at a time, and not just an hour. It's pretty good. Take it easy. Have a good night. Um... I don't remember what he asked. 
but I will say that I feel fine now. I feel fine now. I feel like I want to change my life for the better. Not really sure how yet, but I really want to try. Do you find it hard to concentrate? Yes. Yes, sometimes. Do you drink alcohol, Susan? Uh, yes, a lot. Only sometimes. I'd suggest you don't consume any alcohol at all for a while. Now tell me what Does to do. Does that sound like something you can do? Yes. Yeah, sure. Jeez. I'm not a big drinker anyway. Sometimes when life gets too much and people feel sad or upset, they think about suicide. Do you often think about suicide? No. No, of course not. I don't know what got into me. It's hard to explain why I did it. I must have thought there was no other options left. But I never used to think about it or plan it. It just happened. As if I'd suddenly lost control. I knew what I was doing was wrong, and yet I was unable to stop it. Strange, isn't it? Please, in your own words, try to explain to me why did you really try to take your own life, Susan? It was a sudden impulse, I'm ashamed of it. Nothing was making me happy anymore. I wanted to show everyone how hurt I was deep inside. Um... Maybe this one? Or maybe a sudden impulse? I don't know. Maybe this one. Nothing was making me happy anymore. There wasn't a single thing that would bring a smile to my face. I kept thinking, won't it be better if I just disappear? I tried. I really tried to find something. Took a long bath. Picked up a book. Watched some television. But I just couldn't get into anything. All those things seemed like worthless distractions. And I myself felt obsolete. Needless. It just would get worse and worse. By the afternoon, I realized I cried for the past three hours. I... I didn't even know I'd been crying until I went to the bathroom and saw my face in the mirror. I looked like a ghost. I looked like I was dead already, you know? And then... I saw the sleeping pills. I thought, why not? And I did it. Do you feel as if you're a burden? Or that life isn't worth living? Mm, no. Not anymore. It's strange. But I feel lighter. I feel stronger. Besides, I live alone. Who could I be a burden to? What makes you feel better? Uh, her cats probably do. Antidepressants really did it for me. Music, I play the piano when I'm feeling down. Work, ugh. Cats. My cats. I always put out a bowl of food for the stray cats. They're ever so grateful. I like their company. Them kitties. What makes you feel worse? Worse, huh? People. I hate it when it rains all the time. Noise, too much noise really upsets me. Loneliness, I wish I had someone to talk to. Uh, maybe she needs a friend. Loneliness, I wish I had someone to talk to sometimes. And yet you seem to avoid people. Because they're only interested in themselves. Not all of them, surely. I'm beginning to think you are actually afraid of finding a friend because it would force you to come out of your shell. Call it what you like. I'll sure be glad when I find the right person someday. Have you imagined your funeral and how people will react to your death? Can I imitate the doctor's voice? How would you act to your funeral? No. Or have you thought about your funeral? I don't fucking know. It would take a little while. He's got a weird accent. Uh, never really thought about that. Have you guys ever thought about your own funeral? Hmm? Hmm? Have you? Have you? There's a yes. Oh. I never really thought about that. 
I put the fun but in I funeral. I guess it would be a cheap one. <laughs> I don't really know what they do with people That's like good. me. Maybe they just throw us in a hole and forget about it. Since there'd be nobody to visit my grave anyway. Oh. I don't think so, Susan. That's really the good. The city would pay Lucy. for it. Or so they want people to believe. Finally, I'd like you to tell me about Eric. Eric? Yes. I really your husband. Say it. I believe this might be important. What can you tell me about your relationship? Stop talking so I can what say had it. happened between you two? Susan on making friends. Fear me. Love me. Do as I ask, and I will be your slave. There. There. It was it was welling up inside me. I had to. Damn it, Vapid. We must sing duets. I would totally sing magic dance with you, dude. Totally. Uh, this has nothing to do with him. Can I go home? There's nothing to talk about. It's getting late. She really doesn't want to talk about this Eric dude. I... I don't really want to talk about this. Hmm. Fine. I suppose you've opened enough for one day. Okay. One more question. This is just a formality. But I have to ask. Are you going to do it again? That's a hard one. I don't know. But hey... I've got it. The answer is no, I'm not. Thank you very much. Excellent. We are nearly done here. There's just one more thing I must clear with you. What exactly happened last night? Well, after I'd met you outside the ward yesterday, I went back to my room and fell asleep. I slept really well, considering what happened earlier. Then someone woke me up. It was the same nurse who was so friendly with me the first night. She said we needed to talk. We must go, Susan. You are not safe here. But... Please, you must follow me. Quickly. I did. I went after her. The ward seemed very quiet. It must have been late at night. Wait for me. Tell me what's going on here. Okay. The security guys were gone. She pointed at the corridor and said, You go first. I'll explain everything in a minute. Can I, can I imitate the nurse's voice? Uh, I don't think so. Corridor. Goatee. Susan. If we don't escape now, they're going to hurt you. Susan. Please trust me. I know a way out of here. I'll help you escape. Let's go down this corridor. I'll be right behind you. With a knife. Alright, Dan. I think I can hear someone coming. Damn it! We can't go through there. Let's turn back, Susan. I know another way. Vapid's voice is too hard to imitate. Nobody can do that. Not even Vapid. Turn left here. We can use the maintenance lift to get us out of this place. It's too much, too much sexy to, to imitate. Metal Gear. Metal Gear? Dead Abyss. You get so into it. So lost in it. Where am I at? Oh, I'm here. Call the lift. Call it what? Call it an asshole. Enter. How long do you go without shaving? I never really go more than like a day or two. Three. You need an eargasm emote. Maybe if I ever get partner. What are we doing on the roof? Maybe. Liz. I need to come up with some kind of schedule and, and like thing for the channel. Liz? What the hell are you doing? And why is there blood on your clothes? 
Liz. She a ghost. It's quicker than the stairs. And besides, all the doors are locked anyway. This is the only way out of here. The only escape. Let's both jump. It won't hurt, you'll see. Like that. <laughs> it sounds like that when I gently caress my stubble. This is like, I think two days. I'm probably going to shave in the morning. You've lost your mind. Get down from there. You've lost your mind. Get down here right now. I've made up my mind. I need to end this suffering now. Besides, I have no one to live for anyway. No one ever listened to me. No one ever cared. I listened. You're a nice girl. You have your whole life ahead of you. You listened. Did you really? Of course I did. You talk a lot, but I've always been a good listener. I liked talking to you. So do you remember that story then? The one I told you the other night? The one about the woman in A and E? Vapid do this, vapid say that stream. I guess that could be a thing that I could do. Like take a half hour, an hour or something. I'm sure that it would be well received. Um the girl that that the other night she smoked a cigarette and burned in bed, correct? I think so. Yeah. She smoked a cigarette and burned in bed. Okay. You have listened. Maybe you're right. Or maybe it was just a blind guess. But I must jump anyway. I have no choice. Wait! Please stop and think for a second. Did you not hear what I said? I have no choice. You do. Yes, you do. You can choose to come back inside with me, and we'll just forget this like it never happened. Hey, played away. Okay? Do you remember that other thing I told you? I'm sure I told you about my flatmates. And PSB. Did I tell you what one of them does for a living? I bet you don't remember that. You said she was a stripper. She's a stripper. Yes. Or at least that's what I think she is. You've listened. I just wish other people did. I'm sure they do. It can't be that bad. What do you know? Why do you care anyway? I don't want you to make the same mistake I did. I thought you of all people knew how it feels when you're trapped and you can't trust anyone. Look, I'm sure there must be someone who cares about you. My colleagues don't care. My family don't care. Even my fucking boyfriend never cared. Hello, he lawyer. said he needed to go find himself. Did I tell you when he broke up with me? Valentine's Day? On Valentine's Day. Yes. Valentine's Day. You and I could have been good friends, you know. You really listened to everything I said, after all. I... I'll be back. When you need help, I'll be there, Susan. But right now, it's time for me to let go. No! Well, that's a dead lady. <laughs> After that, I went back. I tried telling people about Liz, but they all thought I was crazy again and didn't believe me. And you were absolutely sure you saw Liz jump off this building? You know, For sure it don't. doesn't matter. I just want to finish this and get some fresh air. Susan, I know Liz well. She wouldn't do something like that. As a matter of fact, I saw her this morning. She's fine. I'd like you to come with me and see her. Say hi. Make sure she's all right. Stop treating me like I'm crazy. Fine. I'll go. I don't even care that much anyway. The door is locked? I plan ahead, Susan. I had a feeling in my gut, and my gut's never wrong. I feel like I really got to know you, though. I'm very sorry you've had such a difficult life. 
the creep meter like is off the charts. Eyes and your sleek cheekbones. You're a clever girl, Susan. But the sadness has poisoned you for too long. There is no coming back from it. For what it's worth, I would have let you go if it wasn't for Liz. <laughs> well. Susan just died again. Where am I? Pull the cord. I wonder what it does. Me too. That's why we're gonna pull it. It stopped the music. doors. I can't see them. Just walk back to the right side of the stage. I knew it as soon as I can't miss them. I really don't like that voice. Doors. And dolls. Does Susan like my girls? I knew she would. Whatever they are, tell them to stop staring. But they are here to guide, Susan. They are the guardians of the doors. They know which door she should enter to get the rewards. But there is one problem. There's always a problem. I'm not even surprised. Which door should I go through? I will leave that to Susan's own best judgment. But this might be her only chance to find what she had lost. Wasted. Susan will never get it back. Susan has one question. And she can only ask one of them. She must use it wisely. Fine. I can do that. But what's the catch? It's very simple. One of my girls always tells the truth. While the other one mm. always lies. What's the truth? And one of us And always I'm guessing lies. you can't tell me which is which? It's something I've forgotten myself a long time ago, Susan. Well, does it really matter? What I'm questioning is all Susan needs to find the right door. Hmm. Doll. I can only ask each a question. Doll. Ask. Bluto, call the rocks. I wish I could play the labyrinth. Um, one of us always tells the truth and one of us always lies. Uh, so you would have to ask, is the other doll a liar? Correct? If I enter the door on the left, will I get a reward? Which door would you enter to get the reward? If I ask that one... Wait, I can only ask one question, right? Or can I ask either doll a single question? I can't remember. Ask which door. Which door should I enter? Which door should I enter or which one would you enter to get the reward? 
Hmm. Which door should I not enter? The top one. So, which door should I enter? That one's saying left door. And I can't talk to the other one. Which door would the other one point me to? Uh, the one on the right? Alright, I'm, I'm trusting Sam here. Open. I didn't get a present. Well, that sucks. Ain't no going back, man. Ain't no going back. Or is this the this where I needed to go? Is this the good thing that happened? Was the other thing bad? I don't know. Blow a candle. Okay. It's awfully quiet. It's a hospital's body bag. Open it up. Or make it fall on the ground, that's cool too. Open it up. That mouth got opened by a key. It is a me, senor. I am a liar, senor. I live again. You treacherous, dirty bastard. I opened my heart to you, and you stabbed me to death in cold blood. You'll pay for this. I swear you will. But this means the old woman was right. I can't die. I'm immortal. I think it's time to find out how very mortal you are, Doctor. Oh, shit, son. Examine. It's the suicide note I wrote. Why would he put that on the wall? My name is Susan Ashworth. I live alone in this old two-story bedroom, this two-bedroom flat. I rarely go outside. Alright, Dan. Body bags. He brings his victims down here in hospital body bags. Iron bar. Take that shit. Those dead lady has nipples. The same. Another unlucky victim of the killer. This one looks like she's been dead for a long time. Door. Open. Of course it's not locked. There's no reason to lock doors in a killer's place of business chair. Pick up. It has fallen apart. She is too strong. Luckily I didn't sit in it. Still, this wooden leg might be of some use. Just needs a bit of an edge to it. Door. Enter the door. The lights have burnt out. It's 
that's not good. Turn on the hot water. I did that last time and it worked. I have soap. Can I put the soap in the sink? It's covered in leather now. It might be useful for something, I guess. Rabbit has become Buffy. The Vampir Slayer. Ooh. Take. Yes. I don't see anything else I can grab either. Can I go back this way? Lady with an ermine. Examine body. This body is quite badly decomposed already. While real art lasts forever, doctor's models will soon rot and fall apart. That sick man. How did he manage to hide all this madness? Examine the doll. I guess he couldn't get a hold of an ermine. So he used this creepy baby doll instead. Take the doll's head. I could probably find some use for this. Yeah, totally. Danger. Danger. High voltage. It seems this place has been closed for a long time. One day, when they eventually demolish it, all the evidence will get buried deep under the piles of rubble. Door. Examine. This must be the only way out of here. Enter. Of course it's locked. Key. There's a key. Examine. What a key to this prison right next to the door? Why would the doctor be stupid enough to just leave it here? Take it? Could I seriously just straight up leave? Liz. God, it's Liz. But it's impossible. I spoke to her last night. I tried to stop her from jumping. And yet here she is, stuck on a metal rod, looking like she's been dead for longer than that. Was she really here? Just already dead? Search the body. Her pockets are empty. Take her down. I hope you will at least find some peace in death. Can I see... Can I really, really just leave? Use. Really? Examine. Enter. I can leave now and forever forget about this place and Dr. X. I have my own problems. I'm not cut out to bring murderers to justice. I've got the key. It's clearly been left here for me to find. Was it Liz who did it? If it really was her, it's clear she would have wanted me to leave. If she'd planned a revenge, surely she would have left me a fucking gun instead. On the other hand, this man is a serial killer. He murdered a lot of women. He murdered me. He will carry on killing if I don't put a stop to it. Huh. And I'm pretty sure none of those brain-dead idiots upstairs will believe my story. Just like when I told them about Liz on the roof. They'll never take my Seems word over the doctors. So I'm just a fucked up loser um. to them. But the screaming. He's got someone in there. His next victim. It's probably too late to save her. But what if it isn't? I told the old lady I'm not a killer. Maybe I'm wrong. I've never tasted vengeance before. Not like this. What if it feels good? Then it's time it to decide. More. Do I stay and fight? Or leave and carry on with my life like all this never happened? Oh shit. I get to make a choice here. What do I do? Which choice is the right choice? So many choices. I hate choices. Stay? Red Queen wants me to stay. Sam wants me to stay. You guys just want blood. Raz wants me to stay. Everybody wants me to stay. You guys are ruthless. And I like it. Let's go kill us a doctor.
Hello, Mona Lisa. Oh, God. I've seen something like this before. The living paintings. Except... This here is a dead body suspended on wires and tied to a chair. Mona Lisa, pleased to please ya. I pay to see You're you frown. You're gonna pay for this, you bastard. You're gonna pay for this, you bastard. Uh, it seems he used a lot of makeup to turn her into the spitting image of Mona Lisa. Door. Enter the door. Skeleton? A fake skeleton. It had probably been used for teaching before it ended up here. Wasn't that helpful? A bolt. Give. Thank you. An easel. The doctor probably considers himself quite the artist. Workbench. Examine? I could probably make a weapon here. <gasps> okay. Examine. I need... Okay. This. Use. This. W wet. Soap. No. Saw blade. I made a thing. I should secure the top of the weapon now. So he stays... So it stays in place when I use it. Use. Well, there we go. That's it. I made a weapon. What about this? The bolt needs to be secured in place now, otherwise it will just fall apart. Soap? No. Okay. Workbench. Return to room. Well, I have a weapon. I guess it, I wouldn't need a second one? That's a naked woman. Hello, Venus. Another poor victim of the Mad Doctor. There's something shiny on one of her fingers. Look at hand. A metal nut. It's stuck to her finger like a ring. I could pull it off her finger if, her, if it wasn't so swollen. Look, nipple. Yeah, there was a nipple. Ah. Soap. Done. You can't not use the weapon with the doll head, though. Use. Use. Now I just need to tighten the nut using some tool. Well, you're a tool. I have a weapon. I don't really need another one. I mean, whoa. Girl with the pearl, pearl earring. Her limp body is positioned in the exact same way as the painting. It seems the killer used the wire to keep her head tilted to the side. You sick bastard. Locker. Examine. Open. Let's open it quietly. Wrench. Take. That would be what I need to secure the thingy. Nobody puts Susan in the body bag. Fallout Boy and fucking Panic at the Disco. Okay. Use. The weapon is complete. I suppose it's time to go see the doctor. <laughs> Can you kill the girl that's screaming? This is excruciating. Can I use this? Use. I should get closer to Dr. X first. I did. I don't need eyes to enjoy your fear. Scream louder, little bitch. Scream your lungs out. Louder, I said. He's punching your tip. Yes, but this is by far my favorite of songs. Would you like me to dance for you? Unlike you, I know all art needs to be appreciated. Your scream is like a poem without words. 
He's wearing a mask and a blindfold. He's convinced I'm dead and no one knows about this place. It looks like if I... Looks like you just made a big mistake, you arrogant asshole. Your body. An instrument. I never thought you had it in you. And yet you make every fiber in my body tremble with excitement. Your body will forever be admired by those like me who understand the only pure and true form of art. Yeah, cats later. Yes. Well then, let us exact our revenge upon this man. Please. Oh, we get to pick what it, she says. See you in hell. Do you believe in karma? What's up, Doc? You'll feel a sharp scratch. Chat, go. What's up, Doc? I got one what's up, Doc. <laughs> of course it's a lawyer. Hmm. Sharp scratch. Doc. Doc. Uh oh. Doc. Alright. What's up, Doc? I would say nothing. Yeah, I would. As well. Dr. X's body. Examine. He finally got what he deserved. I hope he rots in hell. With the Queen of Maggots, no less. I just saved this girl's life, but why do I still feel so angry? Untie her. Let her go. Do you believe in karma? Now kill the girl. Jeez. Thank you so much. He would have... He would have killed me. Like the other... The animal. You, you gave him what he deserved. Who are you? They call me... The Cat Lady. They call me the Cat Lady. Now get out of here. Call the police. I'm going home. Nicely done, Susan. Nicely done. Standing by the river, I wonder, do I need a stone? No. My heart is heavy enough. It will drag me down for sure. Finally, I'm back home. I'll be safe here. First of all, I should wash off all the horrible memories of this nice this night. I eat the blood. I'm dying for a shower, something to eat, some coffee, and a cigarette. I'd love to see my cats too. Let's just pretend for a minute that everything is back to normal. I survived after all. Maybe now I can try to enjoy the little things in life. Okay. Yeah, I could do this. One step at a time. Your only qualm is that Metal Gear hasn't been one of the options. Metal Gear can be said any time. Metal Gear. But I think... Can I save it? I can't save it. I can save the game. Type to enter. Okay. 
Uh, here? Oh. And then... Enter. Saving. Sweet! Game saved successfully. Awesome. Um... So now that the game is saved, I can properly... Uh, end the stream, and coincidentally, the YouTube video that's going to probably end up being an hour or two long. Uh, maybe I'll cut it up into hour bits. I'm not entirely, entirely sure how that will go. But, uh, you know. This is really good. It's really good. I'm looking forward to the rest of it as well. Um, probably not going to do it again. I'll probably do another hour tomorrow night. Uh... But not definitely not until um, two o'clock in the morning again. Say the M word before you end it. The M word. Hmm. Mama. Mommy. Mother. M Marmalade. Mammoth. Marsupial. Mamma mia. Hmm. Metal Gear. That one? Marmalade. Marmalade. PMCs? Liquid. <laughs> anyway, thank you for hanging out with me for so long. I love it. I love you guys. A lot. But I'm gonna go to bed now and then I'm gonna wake up and fucking go to work. I hate every second of it. And I'll come home and stream some more Cat Lady or something. But anyway, good night, guys. Take it easy.